Hey everybody, how's it going? So we are on Saturday and uh, it's going to be a very nice day. Lydia and I are actually going to be heading down today to go wedding band shopping, which is very exciting. And I'm going to also go and look at some watches. So I've been meaning to buy a really special watch for a long time and today is the day that I'm going to go and look. No guarantee I'm going to buy one, but I'm definitely going to go and have a look and there might be a chance that I might buy one. So very exciting. But before we head out, I've just jumped out of the shower and I've currently been using the new L'Oreal Men Barber Club products. And I want to talk to you about these because I recently did a skincare and I didn't do anything about my beard. So these two products here, that I'm using in particular. The first product is a wash. Basically, I just use this when I'm in the shower, just a couple of pumps, and I just massage it into my beard. It kind of like cleanses and softens the hairs, so you just get a nice texture on the beard. And then after I finish that and I've dried off, I do my skincare, I apply everything, and then I grab the serum. And this is basically like an oil moisturizer. So this is gonna keep the skin underneath the hair really, really moisturized. Something that a lot of guys with beards will suffer from is really irritated skin and really dry skin under their beard. Because unlike when you normally apply moisturizer directly onto the skin, when you're applying it onto the hair, sometimes it doesn't reach the skin. So it's really important to use a product that can actually get deep into the skin. That's exactly what this is. So, simply I just apply a couple of pumps onto my face, like so. And then I just rotate and rub in the moisturizer and just work it into the skin. And one thing that I've found since using this product is I don't actually itch anymore. So you can see I've got quite a lot of beard growth at the moment. Um, and normally I go through a stage, like many of you guys might know, where you get really, really itchy, it's really, really irritating, and you're just like, I need to shave it off. Since I've been using this moisturizer, I'm not, and the only thing I can put it down to is perhaps because my skin is in good condition, because I've been using this for the last month, it's hydrated, it's in good form, and it's like, I'm not bothered, I'm not irritated. So yeah, that's one of the uh, bonuses that I've found from using it. So really, really happy so far with the L'Oreal Men Barber Club products. I'm gonna go and get dressed, let's do this. Yo, so me and Lydia have just finished off getting ready. We're gonna be heading down to London, there she is. And uh, we're gonna do some shopping as I mentioned earlier. Today I'm wearing a Boda Skins leather jacket and a Topman oversized brown t-shirt. I've got some Zara non-distressed black denim on today and then I've got my new diesel military boots on. I believe I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear out of this year. I feel like they're very military and uh, I just like the masculine vibe around them. So yeah, today's outfit is kind of like a safe one, very neutral, love my black. Lady is also looking very camo today. We are. Where's your jacket from? This is Simone Rocher. Oh, Simone Rocher. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Got Victoria Beckham boots on. Well done, her welly boots as I call they're them. They're not wellies. They're just like baggy, baggy boots. Okay. Stand up. Now guys, do you think that these look like wellies? They're just riding boots. Okay, whatever, they look like baggy boots. You look like a baggy boot. I like your jacket though, I'll give that a straight 10. Straight 10. Solid. Anyway guys, we're going shopping, London, Starbucks first, let's go. Ah, thank you. I can't reach. Today, and uh, we've got a glass of champagne, which I think we should have a cheers, babe, because it was a year ago today almost. Almost. So cheers. We're just about to look at the wedding bands. Hopefully, I'm going to get one here, and hopefully, Lydia as well, because it'd be really nice to have like that synergy between the two. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to do some watch shopping after. So, very, very good day for jewelry for us, isn't it? Hopefully, we'll see. Good jewelry day. And Lydia's wedding gift as well because I'd love to get Lydia a diamond necklace or something as a wedding gift and I do want her to pick it. I know some people might say like, oh, it'd be really nice if you did it as a surprise. But actually, like, I know Lydia 
would really like to make sure she loved her wedding gift because it's something for life. I do know what you like, yeah. Exactly, so yeah, playing it safe and uh, yeah, gonna take a look at those as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a very expensive probably, but very exciting hour. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna wait till the ladies come in to show us the bits and we're gonna sit here and drink champagne. Happy, happy Saturdays. Yeah, must not get wasted. Lily's going out tonight, so this is her pre warm up. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll go for a coffee after this. Yeah. <laughs> So we just got back into the car here in Milton Keynes and we had a lovely afternoon shopping for wedding bands. I did do a little bit of watch shopping, which was a huge intention of today. Um, I did a fair amount in like Cartier and Rolex. We had a look at the Audemars Piguet store and I wanted to look at some IWC and some Zenith, but we didn't manage to get to those. So I didn't want to rush it because I'm just so unsure. I get so many mixed reviews on Rolex as a brand. I absolutely love their watches and they are so well made and they hold their value and uh, there's just quite a, a large number of people that seem to have different opinions on the brand. So I shouldn't let that sway me because I should just get what I want. I do want to open up the sort of like chance to maybe buy a different brand. So if anybody's watching this that thinks like, I know a fair bit about watches and they have any watch brands they suggest that I check out. I'm open to them. I can't afford anything like a Petit Philippe, those, those kind of watches, but AP, Rolex, Zenith, uh, all of those kind of brands, holler at me because I would love to know if you have any suggestions. And I'd love to try and get one this side of Christmas. Leave your suggestions in the, yeah. in the comments yeah. below. I need your knowledge. <laughs> anyway, Lids and I are gonna head back home because Lydia is going to Crazy Bear, as mentioned earlier. Lucky, lucky girl. I'm excited. Mm. I'm gonna have a stay at home night on Saturday. And yeah, I'm not gonna talk anymore because I can tell Lydia's itching to get back. I am, I need to see my name. Big session. Big session. Especially her. You get smashed. <laughs> That's actually how she talks normally. It's not. I'm gonna just talk like the football hooligans at the go train on, station. Go on, give it then. I nearly died then. Wait, how do they sing? They're like, um, we shall not, we shall not be moved. You're like, who talks like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to take it to an Arsenal game. There'll be none of that. It's very civilised. Okay. Let's go. Is that nice? So you'll have to excuse the noise. That is Mrs. Millen upstairs getting ready. I think her gals are going to come over any second now. But I have a beer and I will have my laptop open because boring as it is, I'm gonna spend my Saturday night doing a little bit of editing, a little bit of work. See where we take it from there. I'm sorry, Alex, but let's talk about what your farts smell like. Oh my God. That was the worst one off, okay? The worst thing. Whatever, you best have that on mute right now, by the way. I told you about it. Are you rather eat your food? I feel so sorry. So I'm just at here trying to do my work. And these girls. Are discussing farts. Ali, Ali, so you eat ribs to cue your No, poor Alex, you can't do that to Powell Puff. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that to Powell Puff. You can't do that to Which Alex? Which Alex? You don't know. Powell Puff. No, you behave. Yeah. Yeah. Powell Puff. You're so funny. You're a twit. You're a twit. You're a twit. You're a twit. If I go for a smear test. They are good for you. Oh my god. No one else's ears do that. Wait, can we have an ear off? Ear off? No, wait, 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 we need to have a soft 
Oh. Good night. Is he good? Yours are we? <laughs> Come here, here is normal. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, you've got hot ears. I quite like them. I've got yeah, you've got some things. things. Why are my ears so hot? Why are your ears? Look where it is. They are hot. My ears are. I think you've got all this stuff like, in them. No, yeah, it's all scar tissue. Even like the top bit is hard. Yeah. Like, I feel like you've got cat ears. Yeah. They're like... <laughs> they're like they're the ones that would like stick up. <laughs> Why do you not have like floppy ears? Yeah, there's certain dogs that have like floppy ears, and then there's certain dogs that have ears. Can you do that thing like Star Trek thing? On a sticky up ear. And then you make the pointy ear. What? You make the pointy ear. See, she's a kid that can stuck. See, their ear inside their ear. That's what I'm talking about. She's that weird kid. You have weird I reckon. I reckon the three of us can do that. You're yeah, the only one. You're the weird one. I could yeah. never bend my ear like that. Can you do this with your tongue? Can't yeah, can you, yeah. No, can't do that can you touch your nose with your tongue? No. <laughs> You're like, it's a theory. Yes. I, have to, I have to like slide it up can my... You can you do it? Can you do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're the weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's Get out. To say bye to the vlog. Bye. So, it was that Alex by To the vlog. There was that Alex. Take the one in the door. Take whatever key you want. Where's your, your no, key? No, where's your key? Where's our train? That is in? my key that's in the door. Oh. Farewell. Where's your train See you, Alex. Farewell. 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 See you, Gary. Bye, Bye. Ali. Please your sound is Yes. Good morning, everybody. So today's Monday, and I think I left you on Saturday evening when Lydia was going out with the girls to the Crazy Bear, and they were talking with very, very filthy mouths. Alex was unbelievable. I just <laughs> innocently editing over here, and uh, yeah, they were just chucking filthy words around. So I managed to capture a little bit of that, but I won't put it all in. <laughs> and um, yeah, so this morning, Lydia and I have Hi. there she is come for my first ever wedding planning meeting. Um, I've been to the venue and done the food tasting and all of the important stuff, but this is the first time I've sat down with a wedding planner just to finalize everything because. You obviously need the big dog there to make the big decisions. So I've come out of the office on a special occasion to um, ensure that the right decisions are made. <laughs> I was waiting for your reaction. And um, yeah, we're going to spend the next couple of hours just going through everything. And then once you're not, that Your is opinion done, isn't even wanted. It, babe, it is the opinion I've literally everybody planned needs. this entire listen, wedding. Listen, listen. And you just want to pop up and be like, um, um no. Unbelievable. No. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So, <laughs> after we finished off here, very exciting, we're going to be heading to Bista because Bista have just had a new like quarter built. It's like a new section within the village and it's got some really cool stores like Acne Studios and stuff. So, very excited to go and check that out. Look at the coats and stuff. They've got some really, really nice coats at the minute. Miss Millen actually has one on, I think, at the moment. I am wearing my Acne yeah. coat. Best but, coat ever. Yeah, they're not the, that's not the style that I'm looking for, but I'm going to look. Anyway, waffling on. We're gonna go and have our meeting, then we're gonna to head to Bista, and uh, Monday's gonna be a good start to the week. We've just finished off with Nicole, the wedding planner, and I think we had a very productive meeting, do you agree, babe? Yeah, very productive. I feel like it's productive, so it's uh, all coming to life, which is very exciting, but as we are local-ish to Bista, we've decided to stop off, see the new uh, renovations, and take a little shop, so yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Lid and I are feeling the Christmas vibes. Welcome to the new Bista village. It does look very nice, I ain't gonna lie. I do like it. Ralphie taking centre stage. You know about that, Ralphie? Yeah, it's nice. Does it look very cosy? Is it very cosy? Is it? Yeah, it looks it, yeah. Yeah, you look like a little bee. <laughs> Online. I never get the nice pink bag. Yeah, it's a nice bag. It is a nice bag. Yeah. <laughs> Literally never had a pink bag, so I always get them from like online stores. Aww. Right guys, so I've come into St. Laurent in Vista Village and I've just found some trainers. And as you guys know, Ollie Proudlock loves the saying, Yeah baby. These shoes have got his name written all over them. Literally. It's so funny. Almost finished here at Vista Village and Lydia. 
trying to sneak into Celine last minute, pick up a cheeky purchase. And I'm walking around, making sure the security don't see me vlogging, because I get told off every time I get my camera out. <laughs> Hi. Very Christmassy here, I'm loving it. I know, it feels like we're actually like, having Christmas. So Lydia has left Vista Village feeling happy. And drained. Drained, but happy, because she's got something from Acne Studios. However, I've had no joy in today's shopping session. So I'm happy Lydia, and no, no joy Ali. <laughs> Finally got home from Vista Village. Have Chef Millen in the kitchen and um, yeah, I wish I was talking to you, showing you the new watch that I've got and the new Acne Reverse chilling Jacket, but I didn't get anything. And sometimes that is where the really goodie grumbles. So, I failed twice in my shopping trips, but I had a good go and I'm starting to like understand exactly what it is I want. And I think it's important to get what you want rather than just buying something for the sake of it. So we're going to sit down and have dinner. I'm going to wrap the vlog up. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed already, please click that subscribe button and we'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.